All right, we begin in the United Kingdom where Liz Truss is the new prime minister. Uh, and of course, in the last few minutes, uh, she's met with the Queen uh, at Balmoral Castle in Scotland and was asked to form a new government. She will now travel to Downing Street where she's due to address the nation. She's expected to announce her cabinet later this evening. Earlier, the Queen accepted the resignation of Boris Johnson. In his final address as prime minister, he said he was proud to serve the country and called on his supporters to rally around his successor. All right, well, for more on this uh, headline, we're going to cross over to number 10 Downing Street in London, where we're joined by our eyes, chief correspondent John Cookson. Good afternoon, John. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, do we know any more about this uh, massive bailout package that Liz Truss is planning in order to ease the cost of living crisis? Hey, Rotus, uh, good to see you. Well, we know a little bit more than we knew yesterday and uh, we're talking about uh, uh, the equivalent of a 130 billion dollar bailout to try to uh, help uh, the uh, ease the crisis over uh, the cost of uh, heating homes uh, uh, gas and electri electricity bills going through the roof both for consumers and also for businesses of course and a number of businesses warning that uh, they you know they could go to the wall because of this and already uh, a number of uh, households across the country, at least a third uh, uh, reportedly, uh, uh, are already in debt as far as their energy bills is concerned. Now, when we spoke yesterday, I talked about this uh, massive uh, $130 billion bailout. Uh, what we know today is that it will be across the board. It will be for consumers and also for businesses, and we didn't, didn't know that yesterday. Also, what we don't know and still has to be answered is how the payment is to be made. Will it be made to the power companies and get them to recover the money back over, say, 10 years? Or will it be a, a, a government loan uh, which uh, has, has to be paid back at some point through taxation? Uh, not a popular move for politicians, of course, especially an incoming Conservative uh, Prime Minister, Liz Truss. So she has to take uh, great, great care with that. So we do know a little bit more about it, and uh, uh, Liz Truss, uh, due to appear uh, here in, in Downing Street in about, uh, well, less than an hour from now, and we might get some indication, a little bit more detail about this uh, uh, grand payout uh, that is necessary because of the uh, spiralling costs of energy, not only in the UK, of course, but this affects uh, uh, countries in Europe too, especially, especially Germany. Thank you so much for that. Uh, any other steps that she's likely to take on uh, energy, seeing as the price cap is going to be increasing uh, next month? Uh, uh, absolutely. Well, uh, of course, uh, what we should say is that this uh, bailout is, is, is the idea is to cap energy prices uh, for the average family to around $3,000 a year. I mean, all this is speculation at the moment because we, we don't know, we don't have the detail yet. And the uh, newly appointed Chancellor of the Exchequer, Kwasi Kwarteng, is due to uh, launch a, a, a budget, a, a financial statement in the coming days, and we'll find out more uh, uh, about that in due course. Other steps that we're likely to get from Liz Truss, although not here about today because it's, it's far too detailed. Uh, is a, a possible lifting on fracking in, in the United Kingdom. Now, when that's been tried before, uh, uh, protest groups, environmentalists have uh, uh, raised uh, uh, huge demonstrations against it. And indeed, where fracking has been carried out, there have been minor earth tremors in areas in England where fracking has been tested so far. There's a, currently a ban on fracking, and it's possible because there are billions and billions of litres of, of gas beneath the earth in, in the United Kingdom and, and gas, cheap gas is what the UK needs right now. Uh, so this is something that uh, uh, Liz Truss will be considering a lift on, uh, on a ban on fracking, although uh, again politically uh, this is dangerous territory for her. Another step, uh, Rotus, that she might take is to extend gas exploration in the North Sea. Now the cheap gas has already been extracted from the North Sea say from the um, late 60s through the 70s and the 80s the, the, the what what's still left and there's still a lot of gas in, in the north sea and british territorial waters 
It's very expensive to extract. It involves tunneling under the seabed for, for, for a number of kilometers. Uh, so uh, a very expensive process, but again, uh, will uh, uh, ease the uh, pressure on gas supplies if more gas uh, can be got out of the North Sea. Uh, another step that she might take is an extension of wind farms. There are not lots of wind farms across the country. I was up in uh, Yorkshire myself uh, in the north of England uh, a week or so ago and I was astonished at the number of wind farms that there are there, both on land and at sea. Uh, they're relatively cheap and produce uh, much electricity uh, and at times uh, uh, UK electricity produced by wind farms is, is the highest in the whole of Europe and that includes Spain as well. So the UK uh, making great strides forward in uh, wind farms. So that's something else that Liz Trust can consider, uh, boosting uh, wind farms. Boris Johnson gave the go-ahead for uh, a new, new nuclear power station in Suffolk. And again, we might hear from Liz Trust again, not today, it's too detailed, but in the coming weeks of plans for new, new power stations in the country. I have to say these are all long-term plans. It's not going to solve the energy crisis immediately, but certainly in the long term it will certainly help. Thank you so much, and thanks for the, you know, testifying to the uh, wind, windmills that you saw in, uh, in Yorkshire. So at least we can see that what the uh, alternative energy plans are for the nation, how they're rolling that out. How does she plan to tackle inflation? The, 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 the honest answer to that is that she, she's going to have a very tough time tackling inflation. It's very hard for governments to uh, tackle uh, I inflation because uh, uh, at the present time there are a number of wage claims that are going through, through various workers' groups. Uh, politically uh, dangerous territory for the Conservative Party if they start uh, prevaricating and uh, refusing uh, to uh, accede to demands and uh, there's huge pressure on the government not to give in to wage demands because this will uh, fuel I I inflation. Another possibility is increasing interest rates, uh, but again, politically not very popular. The last thing that people want at this time is an increase in, in mortgage rates. So although it's, it's very hard for this government, this incoming government, to do something, especially when the supply chains are so badly hit by the, by the crisis in Ukraine, what they can do, rather than curb inflation, is to just make things easier uh, for, for the British people and that brings in of course this payout uh, that we've been talking about and I, I have to say in the last half hour uh, Nicola Sturgeon has announced a, a freeze on public and private rents in Scotland. Well that's an initiative that will be welcomed by many families in Scotland and it's something that indeed uh, this trust might uh, consider uh, for uh, uh, the, the rest of the UK. Rotus. Arise Chief Correspondent John Cookson live at Downing Street uh, in London. Thank you so much uh, for giving us the, the latest on what to expect from Liz Trust and our economic plans for the UK.